But the real issue, of course, isn't the overall dependency. The real issue is the specific dependency of certain countries. Uh, again, as the ambassador suggested, it's the, it's the Italy's and the Germany's of Europe um, that are extremely dependent upon uh, 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 Russian gas supplies, along with uh, even greater dependence by a number of Central and Eastern European countries. Um, and it's that specific dependence, I think, that, that's, that's, that's worrisome. Um, to, just because of this crisis, I think, again, borrowing, borrowing the same sort of uh, framework, there are short-term and longer-term uh, ways of addressing uh, these, this issue as, as, uh, as the crisis is put forward. Um, uh, on the short term, of course, uh, there's some sort of obvious things to do. One is just building storage capacity. Um, too many countries in, in, uh, in Europe simply don't have storage capacity for gas, and so therefore they don't have any reserves. So when there is this kind of uh, break in, in supplies, uh, they suffer greatly. Bulgaria, um, of course, has been extremely dependent upon, 100% uh, dependent upon Russian gas uh, for a number of years. Uh, but it done nothing to build up its uh, internal supplies so that when so that when this crisis occurred, of course, it was completely in the cold. Um, again, there should be there's got to be a greater uh, EU effort to force European nations to create reserves. Um, um, there's been a sort of a suggestions about doing so, but in terms of actually sort of uh, forcing that issue, um, there's not been much progress. Um, and also a short-term thing that can be done is build up uh, pipeline connectors. Um, European gas lines are, ex are fairly full in terms of connections between north and south, but going east and west, uh, the connectors are, are still underdeveloped. Um, and it's a s relatively short-term solution to, to trying to address in case, uh, these cases where there's a disruption in supplies. Uh, the longer term. Uh, again, as Ambassador suggested, we, w there's a need for diversification, um, and diversification can take a number of, a, a number of uh, directions. Um, LNG, um, as a matter of imports, uh, liquefied natural gas imports to Europe are on the rise. Um, however, the, they're not actually keeping up uh, with uh, the demand, and there's, there's probably more that can be done uh, to develop LNG ports. Um, and access uh, that would actually increase the availability of uh, buying uh, gas from North Africa and elsewhere. Uh, the Central Asia gas, um, uh, Turkmenistan, the new fields that have been, the reserves that have been discovered there, of course, are obviously critically important in terms of diversification. And then finally, the thing that sort of nobody ever wants to really say is that uh, the one reason why um, uh, Germany and some of the Eastern European countries are in the jam they are is because of the decision to move away from nuclear power. Um, if you're not going to have, if you're not going to have coal, you're not going to use coal, um, and you've you've abandoned nuclear power, um, then the only alternative is gas. So the pressure on the gra gas market um, for countries like Germany and Eastern and Central Europe are going to be extremely uh, high. Uh, so bottom line is is that the, the way things work um, with, and particularly in Eastern and Central Europe. Um, the money that Gazprom generates from buying up uh, bits and pieces of, of European um, uh, storage and pipeline uh, allows it also to interfere in the internal politics of these other countries. Uh, it has these billions of dollars to play with, um, and, uh, and it does. Um, and so, again, until there's an integrated uh, one market, I think these trends will continue. Um, and so far as I can tell, uh, neither Paris nor Berlin, who seem to be the main obstacles to creating this market, uh, have decided to change their stripes on this issue uh, uh, at all. Uh, there's always hope. I, 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 I hope that that, in fact, does happen. But, uh, but I would say over the past decade, um, I would say history is more on my side than, than not. So. <laughs>